want to speak on killing the spirit of the taker and empowering the spirit of the giver. Amen, but we need to give. The person who lives to give is a person that has revelation of the kingdom of God. Lord, help me, because I, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. This is the flag of the UN. I've been asked to pray for this. And, and, and this is the prayer of another country. I've been asked to pray for this. So I pray that uh, things work out well for these entities. Many, many people have not even studied the life of Jesus because they don't know the character that he had. Do, do you all, how many understand me? You understand me at all? Let me see hands. How many don't? You can't lift your hand if you don't understand me. Please give me 10 minutes in English. Please, I can't, I can't, I can't perform. All right. Because I want to give you something that's going to help you. All right, now I'm good. Now I'm good. Now I'm okay. The, lo the Lord is uh, the example of what it is he wants us to live because he said, Jesus said, as the Father sent me, so I send you. Even as sheep amongst wolves. I send you into a world to be clever as a crafty serpent even, but harmless as a dove, a beautiful white dove who flies. But the nature of God... is a giving nature. And the Lord is speaking something prophetically about uh, this thing called giving, being a giver. If you don't want to give, you're in the wrong thing. I think that people that don't have a heart to give, they just want to take, 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 and that's become the culture in the society, takers. Everybody wants to take something. Well, everybody should be rebuked and say, there's nothing to give you. What are you going to give first? Because, the, because the, Bi the Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. That's a very unusual scripture. Very unusual because you think, I want to receive. I want to receive. <laughs> I want to I want to be blessed. I want to accept gifts. I want to accept love. I want to accept good things, you know. So, how is it more blessed to give than to receive? How? You know why? Hello? Say why. How do you say that in Swahili? Why? What? Yeah, you Kwanini, yeah, Kwanini, yeah, right. Uh-huh. Why? 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 Yeah, I know. I'm okay. Because when you give, God now sees that, and he begins to give you blessings for being a giver. The very origin of Jesus was the fact that, and the truth and the fact that, God said, 
I give my only begotten son. I so loved the world that man needed a savior because of Adam's rebellion or they could have never been saved. So I had to come up with something to give. And God didn't say that he had two or three sons, though, of course, God can create anything. But he said, I only had one. My only begotten son, meaning I made him, Jesus Christ. And the mystery is that Jesus is also the part of the Godhead. He's, he's also God. It's amazing. It's amazing, I'm telling you. How is God the Father God? How is God the Son, Jesus God? How is God the Holy Spirit God? All three are God. Yet he calls, the Father calls Jesus his only begotten Son. But John 3.16 said he so loved the world that he gave his only Son away. And when Abraham was... was uh, Given the promise of Isaac, God said, now take Isaac. It's a long story. I don't have time for the long story. But God told Abraham, now take this one that you've received and bring him up to the mountain and give him back to me. Sacrifice him. Abraham was like, oh, my God, really? Are you kidding? And he couldn't tell the mother, Sarah, because she would have said no. He couldn't have told Isaac because Isaac would have ran away. Who wants to be killed with a knife and then burnt with fire as an offering, like a burnt animal sacrifice? And this is the son that God promised. This was a type of the giving nature of God. I want you to understand the revelation of this. This was a, a, a symbol thousands of years before Christ came of the nature of the giver. Wow. Wow. And then God said to Abraham, when Abraham obeyed him, and said, okay, Lord, if you want my son, I'll give you. It's hard, but I'll do it. <laughs> and the Lord said to Abraham, now I know, Abraham, that you love me above everything else. Even this chosen promised son that you had to wait for. First there was Ishmael. Then the Isaac came. And after all of that, after all, so the Lord is uh, an amazing giver. But Abraham had to test, and then Jesus had to test. Would he give himself as the sacrifice? Now, this is a thousand times worse. This is a thousand, this is a, a, a trillion times worse that Abraham's problem, Abraham's dilemma, it's a trillion times worse. Because now he had to give his own body to be beaten, tortured, and crucified. Whipped with the cat of nine tails, 39 stripes, and all of this that happened to him for us. And God, God chose that. We don't understand it all. We would say, God, why didn't you kill the devil? Why did you have to kill your son? Because he needed that pure thing from heaven to come down and then give his blood. This is a mystery of the gospel. That mankind could then be saved or else no one could be saved. None of us could be saved. We would all burn in hell. We would all be lost forever. Like Lucifer. I don't know what happened to Adam and Eve. They betrayed the commandment of God. And the Bible doesn't really say whether they're in heaven or not. I'll tell you some guys that are not in heaven. Judas Iscariot is not in heaven. Saul, the king, is not in heaven. Because Saul was seen, Saul was seen with the witch of Endor down. The prophet Samuel saw in the vision. And Judas Iscariot, Jesus said of him, it would be better if he'd never been born. So what does it mean? It means that there's no future for him. If he had died after all the bad things he did and went to heaven, it still was better that he was born. Judas was a thief. Yeah? Saul was a thief. Yes. Yes. Rebels, rebels in the presence of God. 
And God said, I'm so displeased, I'm taking everything from you. It's amazing. So now in our generation, what do we do? Be rebels too? Not God forbid, no. We forbid. Never. You know, people use all this language like, I'll see you tomorrow, God willing. I'm like, what's wrong with you, God willing? I'm planning to come there. We had the appointment set. We're going to be there. What do you mean, God willing? He's not willing? He lets us do what we need to do. Huh? Right? Right? Thank you for the two yeses over there. It's from the babies. I love you guys. You're my friends. Ooh. Praise the Lord. Jabo. Poa. Kabisa. Hi, baby. Ooh, you're so cute. Oh, I love you. I love these babies. You see everybody sit there like this, mm, full of chicken and ugali, whatever you got, sitting on the seat. Mm. And the babies are like, hey, yes, amen. You see the difference? Jesus said we need to be like them. I saw two children having to go to the bathroom over here. You call it a bathroom. It's not really, there's no room. It's not a bath and it's not a room, so you can't even say that. Whatever that is. And my thought was, because I had to stop on the way and I just aimed the best I could because I couldn't go all the way in there. Eh? So I aimed, if you know what I mean, I aimed the best I could to, anyway, after drinking a ton of water. Huh. And, uh, and I saw the little children going that way and I thought, this is the thought I had, you babies. This is what the adults did to you to make you live like this. Myself, I would make a place where there's a beautiful bathroom with fragrance and direct light and indirect lighting and uh, a beautiful toilet sink, even a big mirror across the front. Amen. Lotion and soap, hand soap and towels and everything there. Maybe some water bottles if you want to take a water or some juice. Although it's probably not, you should have that outside, maybe not in the bathroom. But whatever it is that can make someone comfortable, that's the way it should be. Every room should be like that. Yeah? But it's not. Why? Because you people did that. Why? Because many people are cursed. Because they don't understand how to live. They don't think about other people. They just think about themselves. And somebody made the thing like uh, the way it is, and you just look at it and you copycat everybody else. That's ridiculous. Lift your hands, somebody, and say, praise the Lord. That is ridiculous. Why do you do that to yourself? Why do you do that to people? You're ignorant. You need someone to come and rebuke you. That's the kind of pastor you need. Not standing up in a pulpit saying, hey, I'm called to preach, and I'm going to make all this noise. What's the noise doing? What is it doing? What is it saying? Yeah, you need people to tell the truth and teach the truth. Can you say amen? amen? Even the babies are filming me. You see these, these young people? These are my people right here. These are, my, these are my people right here. Just this section right here. I want to make a wall, and I'll make the church right here. We are. All the babies come on this side, and this will be my place right here. Oh, I found my home now, here, right here. Hit yourself in the side of the head, like this, and say, yo, what's wrong with you? Are you an idiot? <laughs> say, no, I'm not. Say, I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. I like the way you say. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, God made us brilliant. Yes. Say, yes, I'm brilliant. Every good idea is inside of me. It all came from God. But the environment has messed everything up. 
And I am not going to allow that anymore. I'm going to change it. The back and the front of life need to be both good. Yeah. Some people have a good front, but a bad back. I don't mean physical. I mean, you know, they have two natures. I've seen people like that. Very gifted, but there's something very wrong with them. And this is sad. And God is like this. Let me tell you about God. God is like neutral. You know, there's a scripture that says the, the man of God said to the angel, whose side are you on? You should be on my side, right? Yeah. My brother. Yeah. The angel should be on your side. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That would be good, right? Yeah. The angel answered and said, I'm, on, I'm not on anybody's side. I'm just here. You choose the good way, then it'll be okay. You choose the bad way, it won't be okay. Yeah. Up to you. I'm not going to back you up if you're wrong. Oh, yeah. So God is like this, looking at everybody, looking for and seeing what he can do, huh? what he can do, what he can't do. Oh, God, help us all. Lift your hands. I feel the anointing. You know, I feel the anointing right now. I feel the anointing. I, I really do. Father, I thank you for the touch of heaven. Shukoraba. Holy Spirit, touch people right now watching this, wherever you're seeing this, or however you're getting this. Bless these babies, Lord. Let me be a part, a voice to help raise them up that they can become champions in their generation. I prophesy some of you are going to be multimillionaires. Amen. Some of you are going to, amen. Some of you are going to be billionaires. Amen. Some of you are going to have your own en enterprises and industries. Amen. And you'll be finances of the kingdom to build great things for the church, even here in Kenya. Amen. Lift your hands and say, Praise the Lord. But you have to be careful. You can't just mimic and copy other people. You have to look at something like I'm looking at things and say, this is not good. It's not okay the way it is. You know, people have the gifts if you let them flow, if they have the right outlet, if, they have, if they're encouraged a little bit. I want to encourage you, be creative. Be creative to do everything you can do. Fix everything up to be the best. Decorate it. Make things beautiful. Put good lighting. Put good uh, artwork. Put good decorations. Find good furniture. Nice things that you like. And when you see it, you go, wow, I like this place. Do you know you all can have a house like that? But you have to watch out who you're in the house with, you see? So maybe be nice, be nice about it. Don't be rude. Don't be unkind, but talk to your parents and say, hey, mom, hey, dad, hey, whoever you are, can we make this place better? They may look at you like you're crazy and say, be quiet, little baby. Go, you go. What do you know? You know more than them sometimes. Lift your hands. I want to have the children's church. This is where I think I'm going. I'm saying that in a funny way. I don't mean it totally, but because young people, you see when I told them they're going to be rich, they're going to be millionaires, they all said amen like that. And y'all didn't say a word over here. I watched you. you didn't, I didn't hear none, no amens from over here. I didn't even hear one amen from over here. But these ones, they're like, yeah. <sighs> Maybe that's how to change a nation, go after the next generation. I'll say it again. Maybe that's how to change a nation, go after the next generation. Man, the, Lord is, the Lord is telling me to do something. So I don't think I've ever done this in my life. So this is uh, the flag of the United Nations in a fabric. And I want to prophesy 
And we also have the nation of Haiti. We're supposed to have Kenya, America, and Israel. We'll get the other flags. But uh, I really feel something about this because they're here. They're here in Nairobi. And I, I want to speak the connection into existence. You know, some things that a local government can't do, this organization can do. So we want to prophesy over them that God will touch them and make them very useful to societies and to many people. And I'm holding on to this in the spirit. And there's a book here called Why Nations Fail, The Origin of Poverty and Prosperity. So the nature of God, and he put this in man, if we can connect with it, is to be a giver. The spirit of the one who wants to take, take advantage lie and cheat and steal and corrupt and live a bad life is a person that's not walking in the ways of God. And God can never bless such a person. You know, it doesn't matter even what you have. Even if you don't have everything you want to have, you don't have a lot, you could do something with what you have. Figure out a way to be a blessing to other people. Like, baby, someone give you a bunch of bananas, like a whole bunch of bananas. Then you say, I can't eat all of these myself. It'll make me sick. Too many bananas. So I have a banana for you, one for you. Here, come here. I'll give you one each. You know what happens when you do that? You feel really good, right? Why? Because you gave. Yeah. You gave to help somebody else. Whoo. You get that? Yeah. yeah. So, and then you talk to the Lord, and you say, Father, whatever I have, I want to give it. Count it as a seed that I sow. Like you plant a seed in the garden, and it grows up at a big plant or a tree, and bless that seed and give me back more for myself. Why? So I can have some to be blessed by, and I also have more to give next time. Oh, yeah. This is the way of the kingdom. To sow and to reap, to sow and to reap. And Genesis 8.22 had a scripture that said, seed time and harvest will never, will never stop. To sow and to reap, this is the way of the world. Even the business world, even the governments, the governments take money from people through whatever means, and that's how they get their money. But everything's based on the movement of money. Business people do transactions, and money comes through that. That's how it works. But without the activity, you don't get nothing. And I, have, I feel a lot of compassion for the person that doesn't have. I really, I really do. I feel compassion for people that don't have things because the reason why they don't have is because they don't have direction. My brother, James, and my brother, uh, uh, Johnson. They don't, have, they don't have direction. They don't know what to do. You can even have money, and you don't know what to do with it, and you'll waste it. It'll come out of your hands and you, because you didn't know what to do with it. Lift your hands and say, Lord, whatever I get, I'm going to know what to do with it. Hey. And you, must have, you might have had a very hard time in your life, many bad experiences. You lost things. You had something once, and then you don't have it, and you're crying over that. I know. But next time, you're going to know what to do. I prophesy over the whole church world, over everybody here. Lift your hands. I prophesy that you're going to know exactly what to do with the things and opportunities that God gives you. 
That even rhymes. You're going to know exactly what to do with the things and opportunities that God gives you. Amen. Yes, amen. So God is a giver. The nature of God is to give. And here's the, here's the, trick, here's the amazing uh, uh, method to the whole thing. When you give, you receive. That's why he said it's, better, it's more blessed to give. And that's why you feel joy when you give to somebody. You know, sometimes I'll have some money, right? And... Uh, Like, I, I, I always get new notes from the bank. I don't like these old money notes. I don't understand that. Yeah, you see these notes? They're all new from the, the printer who prints these from the, the central bank or whatever. Every day I get more of these, and every day I spend these. And even if I don't have so many, right, even if I don't have so many, I'm always counting pew, 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 to give to other people. People that are helping me with things. Even if I have a little, I'm still going to go because I, ha I have to give to someone. I think about people, how they're going to move, how they're going to go. Now, now, please don't line up because there's not enough for everybody. So don't, please don't think like that. Be a giver. Give to me so I can make it more then I could give to those who God shows me. Do it like that. But this year, so I'm always like, why? Because I'm thinking about how to give. And then, yeah, receiving. But of course, through that, I'm going to get, I'm going to receive back. So I really want to teach on this. I really want to bring this home. There is a law, a system in the kingdom of God that, that tells us you must be a giver. You must give well if you want to live well. Say a big amen. amen. Now, you, you don't have to understand everything in one day about this. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Let's lift our hands. Ask the Lord to help you to show you what I'm talking about, because this is real, and it's from the Bible. So many scriptures. The Bible says, whatever thing that you do good for another person, Ephesians 6, 8, the same the Lord will do back for you. Whatever good thing you do for somebody else, the Lord sees that, and he'll do that for you. Yeah, that's the, the Bible. Paul, Paul wrote that. Apostle Paul wrote that. The book of Ephesians, E-P-H-E-S-I-A-N-S. -E -E Ephesians, that book of that epistle of Paul. Chapter 6, verse 8. He said, whatever you do for another person, whatever condition you're in, if you do something, whether you be rich or poor, or whatever state you're in. You, we, let's look it up. Ephesians 6, 8. It's very powerful. And we can write it down. We can read it later too. Whatever I do for somebody else, the Lord will do back for me. Lift your hands and say, Father, I will be a giver from today. Yeah. And by that, I'll be blessed. God will bless me. Lord, watch what I'm doing for other people and bless me for that. What I'm doing for other people, how I'm being good to them, and then somebody will be good to me. Now, now here's a little funny thing about that. Sometimes you do good to somebody, but they don't treat you good back. Right? Yes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> because somebody somewhere will be touched by God to be good to you. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. It doesn't matter who it is. It just matters that you give and receive, give and receive. 
Give to help somebody that has no ability also to help you back. And watch God touch someone who has the ability to bless you. It will happen like that. This is the kingdom of God. Giving and receiving. Someone say giving and receiving. Not take, 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 take. I take, I take, I take. I just live to take. But I don't want to give nothing. Stingy people don't impress God. Yeah, say, I'm not stingy. I'm a generous person. <laughs> this, this is amazing. Say, I'm, I'm not stingy. I'm not cheap. I'm, not cheap. I'm, generous. I'm generous. Amen. Amen. Now let me give you a, a Bible verse. Proverbs 11.25. Proverbs from Solomon. Proverbs 11, verse 25. Very powerful. It says that the generous person will have a life that is like a well-watered garden. Like everything will grow in your garden, everything will grow in your life, everything will be blessed, blessed, blessed. And God will keep watering it, and you keep receiving more and more and more. But the secret is not in the receiving. The secret first is in the giving. If you don't do that first, you don't get the second part. Even James 4, 7, James 4, 7, write this down. The Bible says, submit yourself to God, and then you'd see they know it. You guys have been studying the Bible. Wow. I, let's give them a hand clap. Come on, give a good one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, that was so light. Put your hands together and make noise. Yeah. Submit to God. As I submit to God, now I'm in his will. Now I tell the devil, hey, toka hapa. Hey. Shaitania Shinwe. Put your foot down. Okay, watch your feet now. Don't hurt. <laughs> you better hide your feet. This guy is wild. Do it again. All right. You don't have your shoes on. Woo, you hurt, don't hurt yourself. He's under our feet. But guess what? If you're not submitted to God, then you have a lot of open doors for the devil to do things. Lift your hands right now. Say, I close every door by following the ways of God. I close every door to the devil. By following the ways of God. And when God speaks to me, I need to obey what he says. And do what he asks me to do. You see this precious girl? I said, you don't have your shoes. She's putting her shoes on now. You see this child? An adult would sit there with his feet like this, like, I don't care. What you say? Yeah? I, I'm like this, so. But right away I say, you don't have your shoes on. Look, she has these beautiful shoes. Those are so pretty. Yeah. Boy, I love these children. Jesus said, have the faith like a child. A child will believe you when you say something. But as they grow older, they start to lose that. We never need to lose that. Let us take a fresh look at the Bible. My Bible's over here. I want to get it. Let us take a fresh look at this all the time and now decide to live by this, what this says. You see my, my bookmarkers? You see I got... Uh, Chewy, see Chewy, yeah. and then Twiga, see Twiga, giraffe and cheetah, right? 
These are to hold the places in the scriptures. And I have ones uh, lying. I don't know where they are now. Other ones, they're very, be- very, very good. Good for marking places in the Bible. You can turn back to the verse that you like. And Something I want to teach you about the Bible. It's a very big book, yes? You can't read the whole thing in a short time. You can't. So find a scripture that really speaks to you in the spirit and memorize it. Like you know, submit yourself therefore unto God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Flee from you means to run away afraid. Run away like it's in terror, terrified. When you submit to God, you have power over the devil. So when we submit to God and follow in his ways, now things begin to go in our favor. If you have a life that's full of endless issues and problems, I'm telling you, God can fix them all. Lift your hands. By this right here. By this right here. Following his instruction. So I really want to put my foot by the Holy Ghost on a demon in Kenya. And the Lord began to speak about it. We did a meeting at the National Archives in the city. And the Lord just dropped this atomic uh, power of anointing. It was powerful. And said, now I'm going to kill this thing. The spirit of people taking. Always wanted to take, 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 take. Said, no, you need to flip the script to become a giver. And when you do, God will see that and everything will begin to happen. I, ha- I told testimonies about this. You'll see the video. You can get the video. So it'll be on my YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel will be on the screen now. You can see it and tell all your friends to t- t- tune into my YouTube channel. All right? Yes. So uh, this man had... Uh, little money when he started preaching. And then he began to get a little bit more. And the day came when he had $100,000, which is about 13 million shillings now, right? $100,000. He had $108,108,000 in his account, him and his wife. And the Lord spoke to him and said, give 100000 Whoo! Can you do that? And he said, I have 108. I give 100. I only have eight left. And eight is not enough to cover for what I need. The Holy Spirit spoke to him. He did it. He obeyed God. Within some short time, somebody gave him $1 million. Woo! Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see how it works? So I have something here, and I give it whatever it is, and say, I don't need to keep it. I need to give it. And the Lord will see to it that someone else will bless me. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I will obey this and I will do it. And things will change for me. And here's another thing. Stop looking for foreigners or other people to take advantage of. Or you think, who was telling me yesterday, said these foreigners that come here, they come with good intentions and money And the people here are clever enough to con them, lie, cheat, steal, and they lose it all. And they end up leaving, saying, I never want to go back to that Kenya. Many people this has happened to. You messed the country. You brought curses on yourself. Curses are on the land and on the society because of the sins of people. Poverty is a result of the curse. Prosperity is a result of the blessing. And really, for God to prosper you, you have to do things his way. Yeah? For God to make you successful and to bless you himself, you have to follow him. Now, let me, let me give you a good example that you understand. If I ask you to do something, dear, and you don't do it and you don't care, am I going to be happy with you? No, I'm going to be like, what? I still love you, but you have a problem. There's a problem now. But if I say, hey, please follow this, and you follow it, I'd be like, wow, that's a great person. I want to be good to them. That's the way God sees it. You see that? Is that a, is that a simple way to understand it? The Lord tells us something. We do it. 
and then he blesses us for that. If we don't do what he says, how is he going to be happy? Now, he said, I made you in my own image after my own likeness. So we're really a lot more like him than we know. The nature of God is to give. You know, he's merciful to us to help us. We need to be a blessing back to him. And I want to tell you this promise. When, you, when your ways please the Lord, the Bible says when a man's ways, or a woman, whoever you are, when a person's ways please the Lord, he makes every enemy to be at peace with him. Even the enemy can't do anything bad to you when you're really in the presence of God. Have I helped you yet? I'm helping you, I know. So follow this. You say, Lord, I have all these problems. I know. All these bad people have done so many bad things. I know. All this environment is so bad. Everybody lies. Everybody cheats. Everybody's a crook. Nobody's, many people are not reliable. Right? Am I right? Am I in the right place? I know where I, know where I am. You say, Lord, Lord, Lord. God says, what? What, what, what to you? Follow my ways and I'll bless you. Live to give, not to take. Are you getting that? Let's pray now. Let's pray now. Shabbat. I'm so happy that I got to get, uh, it was hard getting started, but I'm, I'm so happy we got into this yet. Wow. Let's pray. Everybody praying. Let's pray together right now. Say, Lord, on what I've heard, you, you don't have to confess that. Just talk to the Lord yourself. Say, Lord, on what I've heard, I'm going to take action. Now you can say that. Say, Lord, on what I've heard, I'm going to take action. Say it. And you will fulfill the promise to bless me. This same evangelist that I was talking about, who I really admire him, his daughter, a little girl, huh? like some of you, you all here, like small girl, Maybe she was six years old when she started, seven years old. She started to give, and people started to give her back. And one day her father came home from a trip, and she had $1,000 in cash. Whew, $1,000. That's 130,000 shillings. That's a 130. That's 130K. Yeah, $1,000. And the dad said, where would you get that from? So somebody... Uh, Gave it to mom and said it was for me. Why? Because she took the hundred, she got a hundred dollar bill, she gave it away. Then she got another one, she gave it away. You see? Anybody can work this principle, it will work for them. Then the man of God is preaching somewhere and said, We have an offering that we receive, but the Holy Spirit told us to give it to you to give to your daughter. That this money is not for you, it's not for the church or the ministry, it's for her. And the dad had to come and say, here, baby, somebody said the Lord told him to give this to you. It's for you. And the little girl jumped and danced and shouted. In the same day, she gave a half of it away. She decided who to give it to. And then more came. This is the way, this is the way it works. But who's teaching this? Who's teaching this? Teach the people how to get blessed. Talk about that. Not about yourself. Nobody cares about what problem you have. Nobody also cares much about what you're doing. Or They want to know, how can I benefit? The pure preacher, the pure word of the Lord, the pure message from the heart of God is the message that's going to help you come up and out of where you are. Have I done that today? Have I done that today? I think I have. So let this be an example to everyone. Time is gone. we got to go. But uh, it's been nice being here. Can you stretch your hands out to the Lord? Stretch your hands out toward me and say, Father, I receive this word from you. I receive this message. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Bless these young people, Father. Put the fire of heaven upon them, the fire of the Holy Ghost upon them.
that they remember what was said here. God bless you. You're filming. This little man is filming with his phone. How old are you, son? Huh? He's 12. He's filming. You see? God bless you, son. Bless these daughters of yours, Lord, these precious sons and daughters of yours. Do you know what? In the kingdom, I'm a king. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. So who's the king and the Lord? Us. And all the young people, you're princes and princesses. <laughs> He's smiling. You're a prince. You're a royal. You're royalty. You're a royal man. You're a princess. Now when you grow up a little bit, now you become a, 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 a queen if you're a lady or a king if you're a man. This is who we are. So look around the environment of everywhere and say, is it like that? Is this the life of a king? If it's not, then you have work to do. And the simple way is this. Start giving. Give your way out of poverty. Give your way out of debt. Give your way out of lack. Amen? And you watch God bless you. Thank you, Lord. I'm thrilled that the Holy Spirit gave me this message to speak. We'll continue on this throughout the course of the day and beyond. Uh, so stay tuned for that. All you that are watching, God bless you for being with us. I am Thomas Manton IV. You can partner with the ministry by sowing. The information will be on the screen where you could sow into the grace. If pe people have an offering here they'd like to give, our, our bishop, my bishop friend could come and uh, share with you how you could sow a seed based on what we heard today. Based on what we heard. Everybody can sow something right now. And, uh, yeah. I I'm going to help all the babies. I gave you something. You can give this. Thank you. Give this. Give this in the offer. Give this in the offer. God bless you. I'm blessed. He said, God bless you. I'm blessed. I'm all right. I'll pray. Give this in the offering. Give this in the offering. So I'm giving for you, okay? Where's the other babies? Give me another baby. Hey, look at this baby here. With the green hair. You got green hair. Take that. Take, take, take. Oh, she wants the whole thing. <laughs> she grabbed the whole thing. <laughs> She's a smart baby. More babies. Give me some more babies. Who didn't get? You didn't get? Now, this is not for you to buy a, a soda. This is to give it to the offering. I'm giving for you. Okay? Yeah, take one. Take one, mommy. Take one, mommy. Sweet little baby. Take one. Take one. Take one. Take one. You give this. You give this. Who else got? Ah, you got. Oh, she got. Okay. Now you sow this. You sow this into the anointing. Here, one for you. Take one. Oh, you have already. You have already. Who doesn't have? You all have. Oh, wow. Okay. Anybody else? Young people. Yeah. I see a baby over there. You got? You got. I see you got. You have? You have. Here, one for you, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. This one here. You got one? Take one, sweetheart. Praise the Lord. Anybody else? One day I'll come with more for everybody, but I want to I want to help the children right now. You can take one. Yes, yes, you can. Okay. So now this is seed. Say it's seed. It's seed. As I sow it, this piece of money, God will give me more. Not me, not me, I gave to you, I'm finished. Not for me, for you. As you give it, you're going to receive back. Yes? And you can tell me the testimony later. Will you do that? If we find a way to connect again, I hope we do, you could come find me. When I have a meeting somewhere, you guys come, okay? If we talk to somebody and find out, say, where's the prophet? My name is Thomas. You know my name, Thomas, right? Prophet Thomas. Where's Prophet Thomas going to be? I want to come see him. And I will interview you and you tell us what happened. How God did something good for you because of this. Yeah? 
In Jesus' name. <laughs> Bishop Mwai, come on. Bishop Mwai, come on. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so do we have envelopes or, or they just can give it? Do we have an offering basket? Give me an offering basket. Do you have a basket? Give me something. No, forget about the envelopes. Do you have a, a basket? Yeah, because we don't need envelopes. Okay, do you love me? I love you. I'm going to another meeting now, but I'll see you again, okay? All right, you make sure you find a way to find me somewhere. I'll have many meetings in Nairobi, so you can come. I want to see you there, okay? Where? Oh, right here? Thank you. Just hold it right here. All right, everybody come and give your offering. Those of you that have a seat to sow, come and give right now. Yeah. And say, Lord, I sow this to be blessed. Amen. Now, I have to tell you something. I'm just thinking about something. It's coming in the offering. It's like I'm giving it back to myself. I'm going to find a way to give all of this away. Okay? So don't think that I did a trick and I gave you and you give it back to me. No, don't think that. All right? So everything that's coming in here, even what everybody gives, I'm going to find a way to give it away today. Today. I won't keep it for myself. Anybody else has an offering? Only the children came. Y'all don't want to give nothing, okay? You don't believe the word? If you, yes, I love you people. If you, if you believe what I preached, you believe this is the word of God, come and do what the Lord said and watch him bless you. I, gonna, I want to hear your testimonies. God bless you, sweetheart. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Anybody else? Come on. Yeah, you have that? Okay, good. Okay. And this is not for me. I'm going to take this and I'm going to sow it into another anointing. This is an act of God. Yes, dear. God bless you. God bless you, sweetheart. God bless you. Okay, come on there. There you go. Thank you very much. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Praise the Lord. Okay, someone else is coming good. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Now, my YouTube channel is youtube.com forward sign, it's long, at Dr. Thomas Manton. I wish it could be a short one. I have to look for a short one that I could just say and everybody remembers. Maybe the name of the church or whatever. But I'll, I'll work on that, okay? My website, if you want to get all of our social channels, the website is uh, social media channels, thomasmanton.com. T-H-O-M-A-S, Thomas, you know how to say that. M-A-N-T-O-N.com. You got it, baby? I see you there, right. Thomasmanton.com. Let me see. Oh, little spelling.
you guys can call me. You can get someone to send me a WhatsApp. I don't mind. Okay? Lift your hands again. Father, bless these young people. Bless these babies. You can send me a WhatsApp. You can, you can send me a message. You can call to say hi. That's okay with me. I love you guys. All right, be blessed. Let's blow the Lord a kiss and tell him we love you, Jesus. We're going to honor your word. We're going to honor your word. And you will bless us for doing that. In Jesus' name. All right, bye-bye. Love you. Let's give the Lord a praise. 